Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to my tutorial on an advanced underground house This is a very very good house. It has everything you could ever need It has farms a nice bedroom and some chest storage You got pretty much I mean everything you could ever need and it's pretty easy and it's in a pretty compact package So yeah, let's get started all right, so for your advanced underground house tutorial, you're gonna to need to find the materials found on my hotbar below, and you're gonna start off by placing five oak logs in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. That's, is it? Yeah, that is five. And I am back from Mexico, guys. So uh, I got a new daily upload, not, or not a new daily upload schedule, a new upload schedule going here. It is actually going to be every Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, Saturday. So that should be good for you guys and good for me because those daily uploads, those were killing me. I love doing it, but uh, they were killing me. And I just said that while I was doing it, but you do five, and you do one diagonal, and then five, and then one diagonal, and five. And if you're not a subscriber, I'm sorry to annoy you with the schedules, but Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, expect videos to be out. Uh, we're going to dig this down one, two, three blocks, just like that. So three blocks down, not too deep, but uh, deep enough to where it's going to matter um, as far as getting the rooms done and everything. And you're just going to want to dig out this entire area inside of here. <clears throat> I meant uh, four blocks deep. You want to dig it down four blocks deep, not three. I meant four. I totally just uh, said the completely wrong number. So, Whew, actually, uh, I meant five blocks. Man, I'm just messing up all over today. It's going to be five blocks down in total. So, I'm just going to drill that out for you guys live on camera here. And then we're going to get started on the inside of this build. So, the inside, it's not a difficult build for the inside, really. It's actually quite easy, I would say. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and get started here. So, First things first, all right, we are going to need to fill in the top here with glass. A lot of you said on my open air builds, so you know, you're, you're gonna get rained on, and I, I guess, I mean, it, it, it's a game, but like, you know, I mean, rain, nah, I mean, come on, it's not a big deal, right? But uh, maybe just you guys, and that's okay. So uh, we're going to put some uh, stone brick stairs. Yep, these are stairs, totally not slabs, they're stairs. We're gonna put those right there. And then uh, on your entrance here, you're just going to build this up two and two, and then put some slabs on top of that, break this block, and then drill this down right here. And then you are going to want to put the ladder right here. So we're just gonna break that out a little bit. And then we're gonna, be, yep, we're gonna bring that up. We're gonna take a trap door here and uh, not replace, okay, we don't need glass anymore. So we can go ahead and do that. Um, this block right here, the block that's under is actually going to be the log too. So you want to break down these blocks and just go ahead and put a log under there. Not too complicated, but uh, definitely need to explain that because it's part of the build. But there, uh, log, 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 perfect. Okay, now let's take the ladders and let's put those right there. Then we're going to take our trap door and you can put that on like either side. You can put it right there or right there. Either one works and then you can get in and out of your build now. On the corners of the build, what you're going to want to do is place these logs just like this. And then we're just going to bring all of these down. Oh, we're just going to bring these down. This is going to make it look like there's somewhat of a support system here. Um, so yeah, there's somewhat of a support system. We're now going to take a log and we're just going to bring this all the way across like there. Um, right, actually, yeah, right there too. And then we're just going to do that. Uh, up here, we're gonna put some chests. Yes, so they can open because it is a glass block, not a uh, solid block, which is interesting. I don't, I don't really get that part of Minecraft. Like, but hey, I, I say that every time I say that, I'm always like, I don't get that, but I think I do get it now. It's just because it's like it's not technically so it's glass, okay? It's not a solid block. It's a liquid. All right, so now we're gonna take some water and we're going to place uh, the water in the corners here under these logs. You just have to break two blocks. Um, I didn't do that one, but I'm going to. I hope. For my sake, I hope that eventually I do do that. Um, a doo doo. <laughs> it's a doo doo. I'm 13 in my head, I swear. Okay, so now we're going to take some farmland and we are good, just going to fill in the entire bottom area with the farmland here. Uh, I totally messed that up. Uh, if you don't have farmland, obviously use dirt and then till it. Okay, what am I doing? Um, gonna need that block eventually. Okay, there we go. And uh, we're just gonna fill in this entire area. I think I got confused because there was already a block broken. I don't even know. I don't know what goes on inside my head sometimes, but uh, most of the time it seems to be good things. In the middle here, you're going to break out these three blocks. You're going to take some glowstone. If you don't have access to glowstone, don't build an advanced build. I'm just kidding. You don't have to put glowstone here, but I like to make this look good. So we're going to put glowstone under there. And okay, hopefully I don't, okay, I don't jump and break it. We're going to make sure all that's filled in quite nicely. And then we are going to take some slabs that are made of oak. And we're going to build out this center area. So let me scroll over on my phone here to the center. Okay, perfect. So one of these blocks is just going to be filled in with oak right here. 
And this will all make sense eventually, I promise. Okay, we need more farmland. We got more farmland. Is there anything else not filled in? Yes, one more. Okay, so everything's nice and filled in now. Uh, we don't need to fill in that one right there, but I mean, you're gonna kind of have to, I guess. You're gonna actually put the slab on top of there. And then you are going to, okay, we did forget that one right there. We're gonna bring it over one. And then we're just going to connect them up here. That's just gonna give a nice little like depth effect with the walkway. I don't really know how to explain that, but it looks good. It looks good. Now we're going to bring these three blocks four back on each wall. Right here are going to be some chests. You don't actually have to do that. But you do need some glowstone for that. So we're just going to go ahead and build that really quick. Again, just putting the glowstone everywhere so it looks nice and like lit up. You don't have to do the glowstone because this is like a lot of glowstone, I understand. So if you are if you are like more of a survival orientated builder, then definitely don't do all the glowstone. But I try to make my builds, you know, like survival oriented mainly. But a lot of them, you know, are, you know, a little like glowstone heavy because I just like glowstone. Someone suggested I use the sea lanterns too. We'll see about that in the future. But thank you for the suggestions. By the way, in the comment section below right now, I, I want to know, do you prefer houses underground or above ground and why? So in the comment section, uh, just pause the video here and uh, write me a comment. Let me know, do you like vi uh, like houses above ground or below ground, like personally in, in your survival worlds? I really do want to know. So pause it. Let me know. Thank you so much if you commented. If not, that's okay. Just continue the watching. Continue the watching. So from the log here, it's going to be four blocks back. So one, two, three, four. And you just dig out this entire area four blocks back. It's not too, not very hard. Not too hard. But uh, it could get a little bit confusing. Uh, you don't want to go any higher because that's going to be like your ceiling block there. But you're going to do that on the last one as well. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, perfect. So now the next step is going to be placing some stairs just right here. Um, on the side that has the chest there, I don't think that that wall, let me just scroll over the pictures. Yeah, that wall is actually going to have the same thing here. So the chest is a little bit blocked, but you, you'll still be able to see it just fine. I promise. I promise. Okay, and now we're going to put those stairs right there. We're going to take some trapdoors and we're just going to line up the top right there with the trapdoors. If you can't do that, don't do it. If you can, do it. But, I mean, obviously if you can't, don't do it. Don't, don't stress yourself out. You're like, you know, I, I can't do that. I'm not in the right version of Minecraft. I promise it'll be okay. So let's get started on, uh, let's just... Let's do the let's do the bedroom. I think the bedroom should be a good place to start. So this is going to be it does not matter where it's built actually. So we're just going to do the bedroom. We're going to do the bedroom right here. Okay. So, first things first, we are going to need to bring back this right here. And that's going to be where your beds go. Uh, you want to just fill in this with some logs. That's going to make everything look a little bit better. Then we're going to take some uh, oak stairs. We're going to place those. Then we're going to take some spruce blocks and we're just going to fill in this temporarily. There's going to be some things in here, obviously, but uh, we're just going to fill this in a little bit. Uh, all with the spruce. Spruce for the ceiling. Actually, I think it's spruce in the ceiling. Yeah, definitely spruce in the ceiling. Definitely. So, you know, for you guys, that was like a gap that you probably didn't even notice. But for me, I flew all the way over to the other build just to make sure. Just check on everything, make sure everything's doing good. Uh, we're going to break out this block, and we're just going to put that right there. Uh, as far as torches go in this build, just put them wherever you'd like. Uh, I probably, well, while I'm recording, just end up forgetting to put torches. But uh, some torches are going to be necessary, like, you know, specific things. I'm going to grab a couple materials we're going to need for the inside of this bedroom right here. Keep in mind, this is going to be, like, the, this is the bedroom. You don't need to add any more. This is going to be the entire shape of the bedroom. I'm just going to fill in the floor here. Hopefully, we can get a good run going. Oh, leave a like for that. That was crazy. Oh god, all right, let me grab everything for here and I'll be right back. Okay, first things first, I'm just gonna do this because I don't want to have to like put all this in my hot bar. So we're just gonna put an armor stand right there. All right, so let's get started on this build. Not this build, but this room. We're gonna put a bed there. We're gonna put a bed there so two people can live here. Uh, pretty self-sufficient, uh, not self-sufficiently, but people can live here. I don't even know what word I was reaching for there. We're gonna put those right there. We're gonna put some paintings. Hopefully get some one by twos in a decent amount of time. There we go, perfect. We're gonna fill those both in with blue orchids. All right, perfect. We got blue orchids on both sides. Now we're going to take these uh, blocks right here. We're just going to fill in some crafting tables. They're not, not too hard to build, and I think they look pretty good personally. Uh, we're going to take these blocks right here. We're going to break the top ones and then these as well. And then we're going to take some stairs that are made out of I mean, whatever material. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think spruce would be best since that's the wall material. We're going to break back, break back that block right there on the back. Say that really fast. Break that block there on the back really fast. Say that like five. Break that block. From the, I can't. I really can't. There's no way in heck I could do that. Uh, we're going to take some furnaces, and we're going to line those up right there. And then, um, let's see. I did not, okay, yep. And then right here, we're going to take some item frames. 
And uh, this this whole module was supposed to be moved one over, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, these item frames right here are basically gonna signify, you know, like some things you're doing. You could put them as like the furnace signifiers, or you could do like this. You know, let, let's just put on our pretend goggles here for a second and pretend that those are like, you know, the, the, the blocks that you would use for your, not the blocks, but like the weapons you'd use, you'd grab it off the, you know, just something like that, you know, a little armory area right there. We did not plant all of this. So let's grab all the seeds we're gonna need for this farm, this farm, this farm, and this farm, and I'll be right back. So apparently there's beets now, so we're gonna use beets on this first, what, what? <laughs> well, I didn't grab the seeds. So we're gonna put beets in this first farm. We're gonna do normal wheat in this farm right here. Not weed. I said wheat with a T. You don't plant weeds in your garden. There's no point. You know, they're just gonna, you know, some Jimson weed. You don't need that. You don't need that. And we're gonna bone meal all that. Make it look nice and pretty. Ah, much better, much better. Everything's looking nice. I tricked you there with the orientation, didn't I? So first things first, we're gonna do an oak wood floor in here. This is gonna be your enchantment room area table area thingy i don't really know what to call it but this is the enchantment room so we're going to build up three uh bookshelves obviously this is way more than you'd ever need but we're going to leave an area broken out uh we'll do it right there and actually you know what let's do it right there so we're going to break all of these i don't break them i don't know what i'm you know i haven't recorded in a little bit so like my I, my recording like skills have gone down a little bit so i'm like my, you know, my recording skills were at a 13, and now they're at like a 10 because I keep, you know, misplacing words and phrases when they totally don't like fit in an area. Um, we're actually gonna, I don't know why I could not like envision that in my head. I, for some reason I couldn't like figure out where I was gonna put that. We're gonna put two anvils here. We're gonna break out this block and we're going to put a stair right there. That rhymed. Did not mean for that to rhyme, I promise. We're gonna put an ender chest that we're gonna put our actual, oh. We're gonna put a glowstone, see my brain was thinking ahead, and we're gonna put the enchantment table, and then we're gonna put some trap doors over these, so you can like open it up, you know, do something, and then close it back up, everything looks nice. That is going to be your enchantment room, obviously add some torches somewhere in there, but now let's get started on the last room. This one is the awesome nether slash brewing room. Alright, so let's come back in here, and let, let's just make a fatty, alright? So we're gonna make a giant, giant nether portal, a fat nether portal. Uh, obviously if you can't make another portal with the custom sizing don't do it because you you know you're, you're not capable of doing it because well, no, no, not no, no, no you're not not capable of doing it you just can't like do it it's just not possible on your version I'm gonna put glowstone behind it because you know you know how I am with glowstone and we're make a giant nether portal that's gonna look nice and cool uh, now we're gonna have those nether portal sounds which are great and uh, we're gonna break out this area you already know what's going on here we're gonna put some glowstone and some trap doors we're gonna take this uh, back area. We uh, actually, yeah, we need this. We're gonna do an oak floor in here. Same thing, just continuing the exact same uh, sort of pattern. Uh, I was gonna grab some spruce wood, which is just right here, and then we are going to line the back of this with that. And then we're gonna grab some nether wood. I did forget something, or maybe I just like put it on the. Yeah, I think I did actually. There we go. That looks nice. We're gonna put a trip wire. Oh nope. Let's go ahead and let's just fill this in with spruce wood as well. And then the ceiling. Do not forget about the ceiling. Everyone always forgets about the ceiling, and then your builds look weird. Don't forget about the ceiling. Ceiling is very, very important. Uh, we're gonna break this. Actually, it's just you know we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this because it's it's gonna have to be like this in the end anyways because of all the stuff we're gonna be putting in here. All right, so let's put a cauldron here, trip wire hook, and then a bucket of water to fill that in. And we're gonna take some slabs that are made out of spruce, and we're just going to put those right there. We're gonna do two brewing stands. You guessed it, two brewing stands. And then if you wanted to, I mean, we could go overkill here and we could just, you know, put some, put a, some uh, slabs right there and then you can just go ahead and just fill that in. And then you could fill in this back area and then put a double chest in there. So now you got a chest brewing area. I don't know. Things look nice. Uh, that does look a little bit funky with that obsidian there. Actually, you know what? That, that doesn't look too bad. Just got to fatten another portal and that's okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a thumbs up, show me some support. If we could get a thousand likes on this advanced underground build, that would be so, so appreciated. I really, really appreciate all the amazing support you guys have been giving me. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos, tutorials like this and more, subscribe and uh, turn on those post notifications because YouTube's being a little bit weird. So if you want to make sure you see all my builds, turn on those post notifications, click that little bell or whatever. Uh, link to my Twitter's in the description below, all the music I use, all the shaders I use, texture pack, all that stuff's in the description below. But yeah, a thousand likes would be much, much appreciated. If you do dislike the video, I ask that you do honestly leave a dislike, but tell me in the comment section how to improve my videos so that I can cater my videos more towards my audience and make them a little bit better. I want to thank you guys a final time for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.